Onivia, League of Legends Highlights. Delivery system in addition to the One, which is owner's rel, which had uh, Whoa, one of the, the best way. plays as Bulldog. Pulling out the way, unless we go for some uh, some crazy Lulu mid, but I expect it to be. But without flash, very susceptible. This could be good gang from Ona, but he's not going to go in. Doesn't want to give away his position. Oh, e position. Used. Okay, there it is. And the E is down, and now Bulldog is just dead. There's first blood, and it goes to Faker. Really good timing window there from Team Forced One. error as well. So hopefully he can sort of get himself together, and this is really rough. There we go, the crash down, and Bulldog is just going to get clockwork wind up to death. Faker finds him with the edge of the shockwave, and that is the sole options are as Taehyun. Oh dear, this could be a flash over the wall, and there it is. Cuz is going to be able to secure the Drake, and owner is just... Yeah, they need a win. Kev, Bob, and Steve got one each on each side. So three grubs picked up. Flash. And not a lot of options as he moves towards uh, possible demise. It is going to be an ult going into the wind, though, as a teleport is coming in down towards the bottom side. Faker turns up. That's going to be another kill for the goat of the mid lane. Not going to augment it with a fourth. That's going to go to Gumiyushi. Four to zero. With, with an ultimate against a huh. player like Zayus, can't really expect that to work out as Faker sidesteps Bulldog skills. Yeah, how many options do you have here, really? As in he goes, and out he goes once again. Zayus just going to come and collect the kill. And Bulldog finds himself in that mid lane. And Ono, keeping his head in, is going to go for a flash. Magnus Storm connects it onto Taehyun in the end as the fire kick comes out from Carrier. Gumiyushi going to get crushed, but there's just no damage here from Bulldog. As Zayas, he's turning up now, gets the flash out with the ulti, sweeping them up. That is a bit of permafrost, so that Zayas is not going to be able to do too much more. But now Taehyun is in the death chamber because Faker just found him in that Raptor pit. Easy pickings here for this very fed Oriana. Mid lane turret is gonna fall. And even though we might not hit the uh, kill the bomb. Um, Zayas wanting to get back towards this turret. And Taehyun once again taking a huge combo here as the culling comes in, while growth comes out. Chains of Corruption goes wide, and Gumiushi wants to find it, but Taehyun standing his ground. Oh, Andil. Unfortunate. Nice little target change there from Gumiushi to get that kill. And now Ona is cantering towards the, uh, the Varus. And he does avoid some stuff, but the Magnus Storm... Wait! Oh, 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 never mind. Please Sometimes <laughs> just get aftershocked, you know? Oh, Taehyun giggling as well. Okay, ulti going to get him out of there as uh, teleport's coming in. Teleport's from everywhere, actually, as Faker's going to flash. Ult comes through from Bulldog there as well as the flash forward from Dudu. Pulled back by the Infernal Chains, 900 gold goes to Kaz. Azaeus is dashing forward, not sure about that one, not dead for a little while, actually manages to take down two. Never you mind, he is a monster, it's a triple kill. The Kwong knows that was a 1v3. Um, the man, that looked like he was, he was just definitely dead. And then he was, he, he was, he was very rich. Soften them up, but now he's very low. Finds the dash forward. That kills the last minion. And now we've got another team fight. His owner is going to be taken down relatively low. It's a decent chance of corruption, but there's just no items. There's no damage. There's no options here for the Kwandong Freaks. And now Gumiushi is chasing. An unsolvable problem, but it's, it's everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's every single one. As Bulldog is going to get altered here by Zayas, whose soul is unbound. And now somewhat uh, pleased as. Oh! A little bit of a roundabout there. Carrier! Carrier just going for it. Just wants to... Oh, okay. Um, just a bit of a crash into the side he's of the He's playing wall. Mario Kart! He is. Um, and he, he's going to need Cooper to put him back on the track, I think. As now Kaz diving forward. Gumiyushi is going to be taken down. All right. There's a little bit of something here from the Kwandong Freaks. Wild Growth helping Kaz out there a lot. as fake. just want to have fun. Well, that, that, looked that, like was fun fun. that looked like fun to me. That looked like fun to me. As Kuz loses half his health bar, it's not very fun um, to be the Sejuani in this game. Was able to help get a kill just before, but the immediate revenge. Fake. I'm giving it to Carrier for the Mario Kart. Okay, but if we're doing that, then you give it to Zayas for the 1v3. No, 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 I'm giving it to Carrier. I mean, Zayas is the correct call on this game. Oh. As, there they go! All right, can Zayas get POG right here, right now? He is going to ult towards Arndil. Oh, that's a bit of a cute one. He's dead. Okay, so maybe not. 
And now Chains of Corruption coming Wait. in. Faker, all right. The ulti is going to pop. Another Infernal Chains does a lot of work. He's not dead just yet, though. And now Cuz is going to get stunned up. Tayan was thinking about going for a back. He is very, very low. That is true. And Carrier, the frontline Milio. He is bloodthirsty. He is dangerous. And Ona has a Magnus Storm. Tayan, oh dear. He does have a barrier. Uses the shield quite effectively and stays alive for some time. But uh, Kumiyoshi is going to say no to that one. It's a double kill. Cuz is also dead. And we mentioned wallets before. They are going to once again come crashing down like a stack of bricks on top of Kwandong Freaks. And T1 are going to follow that. Will fall this game. Yeah. And I think the likelihood of it being a Quantum Freaks Nexus is looking looking high. This is the type of game that hair bets are built on. That's that's what I'm 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 thinking. There is. Oh yeah. Might be able to just end it on this push. Health bars are semi low, but with the amount of effective gold available for T1, I don't think that's going to matter a whole lot. Yeah. If Quantum Freaks win this game, I will. Towards the top side of the map. Jisung gave me a lot of question marks in the teleprompter, uh, just to let you guys know. So she is really confused about what this hairbat even means. It's now Taehyun. He's getting taken down extraordinarily low. Cuz now 50%. Zayas is right in towards the back line. And a wild growth means nothing to this Yone. He will still cut you down where you stand. Good flash there from Cuz. Feels like a delaying of the inevitable. And I don't know whether the pigtails are going to be a reality chronicler. It's a little bit unfortunate. As Quantum Freaks, one last opportunity for defense. Flash forward there from Zaya. So much damage from this Yone. Magnus Storm is fantastic, but a, a fountain is still somewhat dangerous. Gumiyushi, not too worried about this whole situation, though. He's got a pocket Melio and a dream. And he's just feeling invincible. The Nexus is exposed. The flash forward from Gumiyushi. So much DPS. This is what the Lucian is first picked for, I guess. And the Nexus will go down. Pop goes the Lucian, but so does the Nexus. T1 win game one. What do you even say after a game like that?